Welcome to Entrepreneurs Are Leaders podcast with Harry Sardinas. Interviews with world's most influential entrepreneurs that share tips about how to grow your business exponentially. Charismatic speaking, leadership, branding, marketing strategies designed to help you monetize your knowledge, find true happiness and manifest your goals and dreams. Welcome to Entrepreneurs Are Leaders and today we have a serial entrepreneur, speaker, author, a great event organizer her name is valerie and valerie tell us what are the five steps to fulfilling business and life well first of all thank you very much harry for having me here today and i'm glad to see you after so many years yeah uh, it has been a while and uh, yeah talking about building fulfilling life and business i think very often uh, we forget actually <laughs> what we're doing why we're doing is just like an autopilot waking up making things happen without really understanding what is the quality of life we want to experience on a daily basis and uh, because most of the time we are working it makes sense to start asking yourself what does it mean for me fulfilling a business besides the amount of money you want to have how you're going to achieve it because there are many ways how you can make it and i think the first step is of course getting the clarity and having an honest conversation what kind of life you i want to have and for many people it sounds like simple thing right and when i work with my clients and the the most obvious i think like oh i want to have more money but what does it mean more money how much money why do you need more money and how you're going to make it and the next step to understand um you know why you're still not able to make this money is because there are some areas in your life or some decisions deep inside of yourself some programs in your subconscious mind that are not really allowing you to oh, achieve it nice. meaning um for example if you want to tenex your business meaning you have to sacrifice specific cares of your life and maybe deep inside you don't want to sacrifice your relationships and do whatever it takes or it may take career change it may take relocation it may exchange bigger responsibilities and i think the huge part is a lot of people are not willing to take these responsibilities also more money uh it triggers sometimes some fears and insecurities if something happened in the past when people either lost money or something happened they already have this association having lots of money is a danger mm -hmm. so just like giving an example so what kind of relation like let's say codes you can have in your subconscious mind and just having clarity understanding this will really move you forward or for example what is your secondary benefit that you don't want to have more money right and the same with any other area of your life if you're looking for fulfilling relationships why are you still single is it by like is it really your choice or is it you're afraid that someone can hurt you is it like protective mechanism or you have some kind of beliefs that all women are this kind of you know people you know oh men you can't trust them what is it inside of yourself that is what kind of stories you are telling yourself and what is more important what kind of game of life you are playing and when you're crystal clear what game you are playing you can change the rules because everything but doesn't matter like life in general is a game so create your own rules and this is like going further after we had the clarity what is holding our ba back how to unbecome this person who created the life you have currently and if there is any element you're struggling with how to change it because you hear this all the time like if you want to have different results take different actions become a different person but the question is how right so one of the steps is unbecoming who you are now because who we are now most probably it's what other people thoughts what other people words about ourselves as well as experience and sometimes this experience might be hurtful so by cleaning up this going through the healing process you are now ready to actually understand um who you want to become what is this elevated version that makes happen any goal and start progressing on this and of course the last step is taking action it's not just about law of attraction it's more about taking some steps that are aligned with your fulfilling life and i think the the last 
let's say we're talking about five steps <laughs> i just mentioned four the fifth step is actually enjoying the journey and that's what we are missing very often either because of disconnection with ourselves and other people especially when we're sitting in our boxes <laughs> every single day home office people are losing these human connections and relationships but actually bringing more joy into your everyday life uh, if you are doing like business, you're feeling tired, you're feeling overwhelmed, like ask yourself, what can I do today to increase my energy? What makes me happy? I have my list of at least 10 things. Uh, what makes me happy? And if something hurts, <laughs> something is happening, you can always look at it and, you know, let me spend the next 10 minutes just by going, taking a nice walk and I'm surrounded by beautiful nature. How can I embrace it? have bad ideas and close this deal or, you know, have this tough conversation with the partner. And shortly, <laughs> this is how I see it. I think, uh, Valerie, thank you so much. That was very powerful. Uh, we, we usually talk about this concept, yeah? Well, we, we call it the millionaire lifestyle. And some people think that for you to have a millionaire lifestyle, you need to have a million pound in your account, which is not actually the case. Because there are things in your life as an entrepreneur that are priceless, yeah? Mm -hmm. For example, if you go out with your kids, yeah, for a walk and you have as an entrepreneur the time to enjoy that moment, yeah? This is priceless for you. That will give you a level of fulfillment that, you know, there are uh, no money in the bank it will give you, right? So there are sometimes the enter And the other thing is like, exactly what, what you just described. A lot of people talk about how to deal with failure, and, but nobody talks about dealing with success. Yeah. The other day I interviewed one, one entrepreneur and he was telling me the story of one of his clients, yeah, that I think he, he, he was offered uh, a company to buy, his, to buy him out for so many millions, yeah, and he was always, well, the offer is not right. Well, um, this is this. And then the company came back and said, okay, we give you more money. And well, this is this. And then <laughs> we find out that the issue was that the guy, it was uncomfortable becoming a multimillionaire because all his friends, the middle class or the, uh, this company was his life. Yeah. And he was saying he was scared that he become multimillionaire overnight then he's gonna lose who he is <laughs> in the process and that was the main reason yeah. why why he couldn't uh, why he didn't want it in the end to sell the, the business regardless that was offered very good price and a very good exit and the point of the story is exactly what you said Valerie that uh, sometimes as an entrepreneur we had to uh, on become and we have to unlearn also because in the process to become <laughs> to build your business you become a person and, and and you learn few things out of the experiences and sometimes um, that create that persona that character that is you as an entrepreneur but um sometimes in that process you lose sight exactly what is important is really important what is really what you doing what you do yeah the other day we have a, a friend and um, uh, someone that we interview us in this podcast from new zealand that his name is liam that he built a multi-million pound business and then at the very early age and he bought a house with a music studio with the mountain sign everything in new zealand and after he bought his house everything he's like He's not happy. He's not fulfilled. And he's thinking, did I work so hard or only for this? Guess what happened? After two months, he lost everything. He ended up sleeping in the coach of the mom. Yeah. And now he rebuilt and, 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 and he came back again. Now he's living his dream. Yard. He bought a yacht and he spent eight years sealing the world in his yacht. He run the business on his yacht. And then uh, last year he bought a caravan he traveled all Europe and, uh, as far as the topic <laughs> next year he's going to buy a yacht again to keep traveling and this is how he's happy mm -hmm. this is what he really keeps him happy it was not the mountain yeah. uh, house that everybody told him oh when you succeed this is what you want to have this is how success looks like 
and sometimes uh, <laughs> uh, the people are not fulfilled. So is as an entrepreneur, Valerie, we need to see the whole thing in a 360 degree. Health is very important. I know that you are a um, very good advocate of health. Yeah, you you eat healthy. You so. Um, why? What advice do you have for entrepreneurs out there that they are suffering because they're working Monday to Sunday, um, intense in their business, and they are suffering because they are stuck. They don't find a way out. They don't speak with the mentor. They have this ego running um, that person that they become, and they're suffering. They don't, they don't have time to speak with the family, with the with the children, with the spouse. The marriage are are getting problems problems and problems with the children because the entrepreneur is running a business mm -hmm. and pushing too hard something that actually uh he becomes a person that that you know that he feels responsible for everything that's going on no he is responsible but at the end of the day if things are not working you have to reorganize yourself and repackage yourself and come back in a different form so what advice do you have for the entrepreneurs out there that they're suffering well, there are so many things to unpack, right? <laughs> First of all, um, you know, like examples you gave of self-sabotage, how people are built, like investing years, even if it's like in one year you can change your I life. I did self-sabotage myself also. I'll tell you a story. Yes, <laughs> like and I've been there as well, right? When you finally get this amount of money you wanted, they are on your bank account. And some people think that money will give them safety. Money equals happiness. Money equals fulfillment. When they get it, they understand this is not true. I'm still feeling unsafe. I'm still feeling unhappy. I'm still feeling lack of so fulfillment in life. Even with the money there, yeah. yeah because what money, money is money right what money gives us more comfort money can speed up things uh, we can hire a better team we can uh, invest in better coaching we can travel much more convenient um, live in better hotels households yes that's true but emotional going back to health right especially mental health and <laughs> spiritual health as well because this is the like our physical health is a byproduct of our mental one um this is about like what is actually gives you this security if you're like looking for more money okay but even okay even if it's like relationships anything you want something you have specific need you need to understand where it comes from uh if it's like more money what does it mean is it what are you looking for more what is this more <laughs> And when you will be able to pull money or other person, like if you're looking for relationships, put it out of this need and figuring out what is actually this and how you can like fulfill this need without external factors, then you will realize that, oh, okay, I actually don't need <laughs> this amount of money on my bank account. Mm -hmm. When I will have it, it will just a great bonus. When I marry my ideal person, this is just also a bonus because I am the only source of whatever emotional fulfillment I can have. For example, how to build inner stability. It's a lot about self-trust. It's a lot about healing, like whatever past experiences you had, understanding I can trust myself. I can achieve any kind of goals I have. I'm always safe and protected. So it's not about money, it doesn't matter if you have 10 millions or you have 10 pounds. As long as you don't have peace, right? It's just number. The same with like, what is fulfillment for you? Like, are you feeling in peace? If you are anxious, if you have fears, where it comes from? What is your mind uh, like having inside now? Like if not now, I would love to like our listeners to check, ask yourself, how do you feel right now? If you're anxious, what kind of thoughts you have right away? Are you worrying that this deal is not going to happen? Or, you know, again, like this health-wise something's going... Like nothing is... Like, if you look honestly around, nothing is happening at this particular present moment. And I think for people who are struggling with this, the, the key to everything is to learn living in present moment and embracing it. It sounds super stupidly simple but it's so hard to do right because we either having in our mind stories that what didn't work 
who like stole from you who lied to you and then you create the strategies like as an action how to manipulate this person how to manipulate the whole situation it comes from the point of fears not not abundance but from ego because ego is very like it, it's not just like bad things it's basically everything my, everything what is not love let's say it's ego <laughs> <laughs> so um and the same with the other strategies our behavior is very much driven by the way we used to like think perceive things and also process them and if you want to change this kind of behavior whether it's like with the eating with your health with your relationships it's a lot about self-awareness and uh, self mastery <laughs> and that's why i'm like i'm passionate about this and work with a lot of people entrepreneurs most most my people with whom i'm working are entrepreneurs because they are driven they have big goals but as you mentioned very often they forget why they are doing what they're doing they are disconnected from their vision mm -hmm. mission and purpose like three fundamental things because we're constantly trying to make this happen every single day like i don't think it's enough like I, ha I want to hit this number so i need this amount of clients and you want this going rat, more in leads, rat race in this rat more race. leads more closing and then you need also to work with these people and have a back office etc etc and then like i saw so many great companies like uh, hitting almost a billion and they stopped functioning because they forgot where they come from and Who why they, they actually started. The, the amazing why they be promised. And then like, but look, when I, when I built my property business in the, in a, uh, which it was my first business. Yeah. This, uh, I had to hire people to the office and people that were better than me at everything. <laughs> so one day I arrived to the office and they told me, Harry, go home. We don't need you. So we have to save five million with this company. And my manager, the girls, Eva, they told me, go home, we don't need you. We can run this company without you. And then I was at home uh, with nice anxiety. I'm like, you know, I'm watching movies, switching off the light, watching movies every day inside my room. I'm watching movies and thinking. And I'm thinking, this is not right. How come I had all this money coming out to, to me? And... And I'm not doing anything. This is not right. Something is wrong. And then inside the room, you know, thinking like that all the time with this uncomfortable. I'm more money coming every month. I'm I'm doing nothing. Just watching movies and inside. And uh, guess what I did? I, I, <laughs> I went to Brick Lane and I opened a restaurant. I call it a Harry Spanish Tapa Look the Ego. I, I should call it Peppa or Lola. No, I call it my name, Harry Spanish Tapa. In Brick Lane, and I lost 200,000 pounds. And also, my, my other business, the property almost collapsed because of this restaurant. I lost my girlfriend that I had back in the day, <laughs> lost everything. Uh, again, and it comes to what you were talking about self sabotage. That's what we said. A lot of people talk about how to deal with failure, very few people talk about how to deal with success. You actually um, you have to be prepared for the success. And you had to have clarity in your mind. What is the purpose? What do you really want? Yeah. I should get this money right than being like that. Yeah. I was too young back in the day. But, if, you know, I should take this money and buy more property or travel the world, you know, and enjoy life. And there I was inside my room, miserable because I was making so much money without doing anything. And that made me really uncomfortable. Mm yeah we lose a lot of energy you know where uh, and that's impact our decision making as well on internal like battle with our internal conflict for example you say i want to have successful business but deep inside you, th you think i'm not worthy of this it's like if someone is running it's a dream right for some so many people or everybody it's, like, their, it's the dream to be the dream. They don't have to do anything and get money it's what yes. everybody Exactly. This is the main point of like uh, automated. Up. You withdraw yourself. You don't need to do anything. Business is running by itself. But if you're feeling like maybe you're not worthy of this and worthy, meaning like we, we are like brainwashed that we have to work hard 
in order to being worthy or just like feel I'm good. Like, even though I do something that doesn't make sense, right? Neither for myself, neither for my health, business, family, whatever. But I feel like I worked. I did something. It adds to your fake worthiness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> While in reality, you don't need to do anything. You don't need I don't to have to prove anyone. anything to anybody. Yeah. That's what, uh, Valerie, what you're saying right. to, yes. to be at peace. Yeah. I'm in the point of my life. Yeah. That. And at peace, I, I'm only spend time with people that I love, that they are entrepreneur, amazing people like you. And I'm at peace, you know. I don't have to prove anything to anybody <laughs> anymore, you know. And this goes in 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 into your mental health. This goes in your head because all this negativity or all these negative emotional negative thoughts the you know this emotional pain end up sometimes most of the time uh, being a physical pain people have cancer people have heart attacks people have illness because of that it's not that this emotional pain is that that this emotional pain will will uh, show up in your body and some and some form of physical pain however if you're in peace if you are aligned if you uh, become yeah because after this setback valerie uh you're talking about on becoming and becoming mm -hmm. after this setback i think that i on become the person that i was uh and a new person become yeah i didn't even know what i want but i was uh, i have clarity what i didn't want yeah didn't want a business that Give me Monday to Sunday <laughs> uh, in a, an, an physical location, and I I wanted to to have a big impact in the world. Yeah, so that setback actually um, sometimes the the worst day of your life become the best day of your life. Yeah, and uh, so that setback uh, actually made me unbecome that person. And then I have to start literally from, <laughs> not from zero, but from very low to become a new person. Since that, this is when we found speakers and leaders and, yeah. and, uh, and, uh, and, and we, we do what we do now. Now the events all over the world, the workshop speakers and leaders, Mohammed Ali Jr., the son of the boxer, just graduated from the course uh, uh, yeah. two weeks ago. <laughs> so... The the point of the story is that sometimes, Valerie, um, this self sabotage uh, that we that, that as an entrepreneurs we do is to help us to find our path, right? Is to help us out to find who who we really are and 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 we and who we really want to become. But my question to you, Valerie, is what advice do you have for entrepreneurs out there? So they don't have to go to a hard time or to have a huge setback in order to become who they really are. Because the lot of people that we interview in, in, in this podcast, they we hear again and again similar experiences with a lot of money that people lost everything. But it's always until they don't lose everything and they don't have a big pain, they don't own become and then because it happened to me and it happened like i said with the with liam that we interviewed from new zealand and we have way a lot of stories uh, that we can share with you that entrepreneur that is going to this pattern that you know they become successful or they make a lot of money they make millions but they're not fulfilled and something is um is not there in the pers in the in the purpose that that what they do and what they do in the person they want to be and all of a sudden life give them a second chance in a form that hey you know lose everything and now <laughs> you, you can start again with the purpose who you really are but my we don't want people to suffer we don't want entrepreneurs to suffer we want them to be happy healthy and wealthy so there is any formula or any secret validity that you can give to entrepreneurs to don't wait until you lost everything. Don't wait until life hit you hard to start to unbecoming that person that you're uncomfortable with and start to become the entrepreneur and the person that you want to be. Happy, fulfilled, calm, at peace. <laughs> 
to tell us. Like, lots of things to unpack. And I think, um, well, first of all, I call challenges a gift. Um, and it's up to you if you're going to unwrap them. Sometimes we want to, like, I see pet tendency and also myself right we want to send these gifts back because no one wants challenges and how it's happening um it's not happening like a huge something huge happened at once first we're getting like small symptoms that we're trying to avoid so we're sending these gifts back but the delivery is continuing coming right <laughs> it's continuing knocking your door telling hey you need to pay attention to this pay attention to this um what you like we're not coming here just you know how you know we're not born just to make lots of money and die right and on the way maybe Absolutely. creating family Absolutely. or That's whatever what we think, but it's no, it's no <laughs> even like people say talk about legacy what we leave after ourselves who cares no one cares many 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 generations often still people will forget about this person about who we've been right so it's not about that it's for me like how i see this is like kind of a playground for us to discover who we are and the process to basically polish this version of ourselves and to go through this there are multiple facets we do it's easy to understand what you're good at because you're doing you understand what you're good at it's easy to understand your greatness as well through your achievements awards accolades your accumulators what people are really struggling with is to understand what their shadows and actually accept them talking about ego but this is exactly where the healing process is happening like if your relationships are falling apart and your partner you see in your partner like you hate him or her right <laughs> instead of like having this resistance that also impacts your money your mental health, health is like he or she is projecting your shadows it's like what is it like irritates you triggers you the most instead of look at this as a mirror and like okay where am i in my life behaving the same telling the same doing the same things and why I cannot accept it. And if you like have a, it's not that every single person like this, it's like really close people in our lives, they're constantly triggering us. They're just like teaching us something. And the same with the situations when people go through like tons of money losses and something. This is the time of facing your shadows. What this shadows, what this pain, what is inside of you brought you here? like what is the parts of you because we are not just oh it's me valerie or you harry sitting there are unlimited amount of parts of ourselves some of them we accept some of them we don't want to accept some we don't even know exist and it's already going to quantum psychology there are so many codes scenarios that people through legalizing understanding and accepting more or less that to release it it's part of unbecoming but um you know i don't th like it's like the question is was like with the child how how can i protect right <laughs> how we can make more people happy but i think we are in charge of only our own path and life and some people are choosing at this particular moment that's why we need to learn to be more present Am I going this direction that is all about crazy roller coaster with insane amount of pain? Or am I choosing another path where I will be actually following my calling? I will be tapping into my gifts and abilities, but it will be not so harsh. But whatever you choose, it's your path and you need to embrace it. And very often people who are going through the major pain, they have even major capacity to actually help more people why because you know like in coaching space i do believe that we need to study we need to learn we need to have the certifications whatever just to get a healthy framework and not to damage even <laughs> do something even worse to other people but at the same time if you just read books or you just went through any kind of certification but you didn't walk the talk you don't have this amount of compassion intuitive guidance how to help these people because you've never been in the same situation but now for example you lost a lot of money you know how it feels you know how frustrated how painful you are you are now on a mission right to help more people to make this money and even if they 
exactly where you've been like many, many years ago, you know how to help them. If you've never been there, and it's and it's gift, right? Of course, it's up to you. It's your choice. If you want to pursue this path and help people this way, like for me, um, why I decided to help people who are going through life transitioning phases to reinvent themselves and do a life makeover, because I know what does it mean when you lose, like I lost my parents in a car accident. I know what does it mean to be suicidal, but then find um, strength inside of yourself and uh, become a world champion. I know what does it mean going through divorce. I know what does it mean to like relocate to other countries and going through all this uh, adaptation. I know what does it mean to lose myself and the relationships and the motherhood without completely understanding who I am, what I am, and actually find myself and now building my own tribe of people who are willing to find their unique voice and embrace it through knowing that I'm worthy. My voice makes sense. My voice can help a lot of people. But this is a journey. So like answering your question, I think just like really um, check on yourself as regularly as you want. Like, are you on the right, not, not on the right path even, but just like every single day matters. Are you building life that you want to live or you are just contributing to someone else's ideas and dreams? Like if you're constantly told the only way you will be accepted in the family just because you're making a lot of money or you have this prestigious job or you have a great family with nice looking kids and this is not what you want in life, meaning you have a conflict inside of yourself. Meaning that at some point you have to face the truth and we think that the world, the universe, God, whatever you call it, against us, it's not true. It actually loves us so much and wants us to be as much happy and fulfilled and healthy. We are just in a constant resistance with this. So be honest. And I think honest conversation with yourself, this is always healthy, whether once per week, per month. Now is a great time, right? We're <laughs> facing end of the year. Like, ask yourself really tough questions. What is it? And if it's a contradictory with someone who is important to you, it's fine. Is it contradictory what society brainwashed you? It's fine. What matters is you. Like, the only way to achieve your high potential and at the same time create the fulfilling life is to be honest. Why do you want to create? And what is it that makes you truly happy and fulfilled? Stop resisting it. It just brings you to nowhere. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then uh, uh, I'm focusing on that. What, what's your purpose? Because I think that when you have clarity in in your purpose, yes, when um, you don't feel like you're working, you see? Like this workshop speakers are little that we, we just did uh, two weeks ago. Uh, <laughs> we are thinking, <laughs> you know, the, all the attendees were, were, they were so happy. Everybody was so happy. We have an amazing feedback. And then I speak with my partner, Lily, I said, we don't really know if we do this workshop for them or for ourselves. <laughs> because <laughs> at the end of the day, we love it so much. And, uh, and in that process for us, you know, to create this empowerment contest and have them there, it's also... Uh, Taking us to 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 progress more in, in what what you just shared because um, remember when I started in business I was like I want to make a million I want to make a million I want to make a million I was all about that I want to make a million I did the property business for the money for the money not because I was passionate about it nothing purely for the money and because I want to make a million <laughs> then what happened you make a million and you are like so what? <laughs> so what's next? You don't even notice. You know, it was. <laughs> yeah, the, your accountant told you, "Hi, ah, you reached this," and you're like, "What?" And uh, and you think that oh, that day is gonna be a big party. You're gonna make a big celebration, but because it was not real, the purpose it was not real. Who are who are you? I uh, you're uh, still empty. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then is when the cells out has come. This is when um, when uh, when. Um, you know, sometimes bad decisions come. But again, it's, I agree with you. Maybe it's not a bad decision. Maybe it's the universe leading you and, and, and give you signs and sometimes put you through hard times so you can 
exactly like you said, on become. So you can become who you really are. And then sometimes the the universe is, you know, is uh, is you think, oh, what this is happening to me? Why, 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 you know, why after I worked so hard and everything, you know, I took this bad decision, I lost everything. Why, why, why? And but sometimes this is the why, <laughs> because um, you have to. Uh, to exactly to to discover who you really are and, and what will keep you happy and what will keep you at peace and then um, yeah i think like a lot of people spend a lot of energy in the past telling like why i made this decision why did i took this action why didn't i tell this and that but there were so many uh, scientific or regrets like, or regrets yeah, there was like a me sometime like oh when i was a sister, so i regret that you buy a lot of houses well I, that was at the, at the beginning. Yeah, now I don't said anything. That is it's part of the journey, right? Yeah, there were studies made that actually it's not your mind making the decisions. Your subconscious already made the decision, and the mind is just like after like it, it happens in like tiny tiny seconds, right? <laughs> we don't even notice this. Like even small it's things. The unconscious mind holding the decision based on what this and that. Yeah? Yeah, it's already happened. It's it's not that you have to be being stuck. It's about it's already happened. Like release it finally. Now you are here. What? It's not about what you what happened. It's about what you're going to create, but also how and how is happening now. It's not happening yesterday or tomorrow. Now, so like stop spending and wasting energy being there. It's yeah, maybe it's painful because uh, the biggest lesson we're learning here is how to let go. Mm -hmm. But if you understand the concept of oneness, how we're all connected, you never lose people, you never lose like uh, money because you can make it make it right. You can you will at some point reunite with specific people. Treating this journey as gain is a specific kind of game you create for yourself makes life feeling different and easier instead of like mm -hmm. constantly bring this control freak trust freak look at us how many yeah. years we have been friends you see you <laughs> find amazing people in your life <laughs> i don't even remember yeah but we have been friends for so many years now yeah, yeah. so valerie um, if someone is in love somebody listening is in love with the conversation i want to know more about these amazing events that you do yeah i lily and i we have the pleasure to be speakers at your events and we can say that they are fantastic they are outstanding it's a great experience for the entrepreneurs out there and um, I, we we spoke in the Dubai once. I we know that you have done events in Dubai and in Saudi, and um, so if people want to know entrepreneurs want to know about what when is your upcoming events. Yes, and um, so you can, we can continue the conversation about for entrepreneurs how to be at peace with themselves and how to find the purpose how and um, become so and um, become who they really want to so um bali tell us wh where people can find you how the process works do you have any website any social media that they can reach you sure uh, like first of all yes we have been uh, like building this relationships friendship for so many years and you were speaking in dubai like many years ago when uh, it was under a completely different brand but this also was my path of journey and going through my pain it was right? amazing building company and then actually understanding i'm burnt out and closing it and now it's uh, a bit different journey um the, the platform i speak up let up is all about helping people to understand uh like find the newer as well and also and other people we are working with are already established and very successful entrepreneurs who need more visibility who want to to be outstanding public speakers and explore different markets. So this year we did two events. It was in Dubai and also in Saudi, in Riyadh. And uh, I I was Where feeling like well done. our community <laughs> loves Dubai. They like the vibration, like vibes. I like Dubai. It's also, I love it. yeah. But I've never been to Saudi. Europe. Maybe I love Saudi also. I've just never been there. Maybe <laughs> a bit different vibe. I have to go to find out. Yeah, 
<laughs> exactly. So yeah, so we're doing the next event business summit, Speak Up Later Business Summit in February on eighth of February in twenty twenty five. So what's the website? What's the website? How people can uh, find I speak up dot com. I speak up dot com. You can find go information visit. there. Yeah. Find more information. Hope to see you there because you know first the of all, the have some help. Want want them to help them with a little bit of coaching in what we discussed today, finding the purpose and so on. Well, the how knowledge. They can find you LinkedIn. Box. How they can find you? Yes, it's basically Valerie Vikim or Light Up with Val is my Instagram. I speak up Light Up as well as uh, an Instagram everywhere. And of course, I think it's time to build meaningful, authentic human connections. And if you really believe in this, so hope to see you. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Valerie. I think that we're so happy to have you in, in this broadcast. It really meant a lot to me and Lily, my partner. I think that you're brilliant. I think that you're doing, um, you're here for a bigger purpose in this world. Yeah. And um, life will give you a lot of challenges. Yeah. Hard challenges started, you know, like, like from you lose your parents in the currency. And so this is, this is not a good start of, you know, and you managed to be a good person, a good mom. Um, and all you're about is helping out people there and creating these events that we do it all over the world. And we know uh, that the massive uh, effort, that there is no money to pay, um, all that can compensate the big effort to put an event together to, to empower people and to lift people up rather than put them down. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we congratulate you for that. We're very proud of you. <laughs> and for all of you, all our listeners, see you in our next episode of entrepreneurs are leaders how brave entrepreneurs like valerie break that wall and create business that make this world a better place bye for now follow us for more on charismatic speaking leadership exponential business growth branding marketing strategies designed to help you monetize your knowledge find true happiness and manifest your goals and dreams 